Welcome to Lady Mary Bath. I have shared with you the beauty and many uses of the glass cloche. You can use it for collections and decor items and show your personality. This is going to be the easiest craft project you've ever worked on. We will take dollar store items and make our own cloches. There are two items plus a touch of glue that you need to create your own glass cloche. And I love it because it gives you the flexibility, even though you might find one in a store or online, you might not have the size that you need. And this way you can create your own. So we've taken a vase and a candle from the dollar store. And it's important to look at the shape. You don't want a vase that tapers in because then you cannot really use it properly as a cloche. This has a nice wide part at the bottom, so I think it's just right. And let's get started. Start out by choosing a small candle from the dollar store, any fragrance that you like, because we will remove the lid, and this you can burn and enjoy separately. So we'll turn this over and very carefully take the inner seal off, discard it, and now we have a handle to put on our glass cloche. The E6000 Industrial Strength Clear glue works very well for this. It's important to make sure that we line it up carefully. So maybe practice first before you put the glue on just to get a feel for it. And now we will take this off and place the glue around the highest point, which is this inner seal. So let's very carefully place some around the rim of it. This is the area that will be touching our glass vase. You don't want to go too thick. I'm going around it several times just to make sure I have even coverage. Okay, that's good. Maybe even a little thick. So I'm glad I practiced once and it might be good to stand up and actually get kind of a bird's eye view. So now we'll place it. And you do have a little wiggle room if you need to move it around a bit, that seems to be just right. So we'll let that dry. They say that it takes up to 72 hours, but after a couple of hours, it's actually quite fine. And there we have our glass cloche. While this is setting, I will show you one that I made earlier today, and it's actually already able to be lifted. Here I've placed it on a depression glass plate just to give you an idea of different ways to use the glass cloche, and I could put something interesting inside. This is a small pedestal I got at an antique shop for a dollar just the other day, and it fits nicely on this as well and you can use your imagination and create something seasonal or something personal to you. Glass cloches really do lend themselves to showing off your collections and your personality, and I think it's a really great thing. I hope that you can incorporate this into your decor. Thanks for joining Lady Mary Bath. I hope that you have fun making a glass cloche. Thanks for joining Lady Mary Bath. Please hit like and subscribe. I hope to see you next time for more lifestyle tips.